what's going on so I'm going to show you how to replace motor mounts on a 2012 Nissan Xterra so here's my old two and so first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the two bolts that go right there a 17 millimeter takes them out you're going to want a really big extension because you got to go all the way down there you see where the hole is down there that's where you're going on both both of them and you're going to have to deal with the shields there you go right. oh wait yeah. I already got this one back in. I forgot. So, see where that shield is right there where my light is shining on? That's the new motor mount in. So, this is a harder, one of the harder parts is doing that. So what I did first is I loosened up those bolts with a half inch. Huge extension going up. Um, a breaker bar. And broke those loose. Next, what you're going to go do is you're going to put a block of wood on the oil pan and there's there's a block of wood above that and lift up the engine so that you're gonna have room to get out these motor mounts and it's okay to have the with a block of wood I, I didn't run into any issues and plus there's nowhere else really with a four-wheel drive you can shove something on the engine to lift it up so that out of the way that out passenger side getting it out I couldn't figure out how to do it, how to slide it out. So I actually removed the bracket, which is two 14 millimeter bolts. And after that, well, actually before that, you drop out the other 17 millimeter bolt at the bottom. Then you go to the bracket, drops right out. The exhaust shield sits right on top of it, just like that. So take it out whatever order you want. I did the shields first to get them out of the way to make room to slide out the engine mounts. Now, going back in, passenger side is going to be really easy because what I'm going to do is throw this up, hold that in place, put the two bolts in, boom, bada bing. It's just going to, it's going to fit really easy because this is the bottom part that holds it all together. So that was the hardest issue because you're not going to have an issue like you did trying to take it out. But the driver's side though, when you go to do that, there's the steering linkage, so when it comes out, the steering linkage is on this side, so you can't just slide it out to the front of the car. What you can do, otherwise you have to disconnect the steering linkage, and that's, you know, that's a pain in the butt. So what I did is I slid it out. The only issue I ran into is when I was getting it back in, the shield has to go back on like that, right? When you're sliding into that tight spot, you're sliding that in first, and I couldn't figure out how to get this back on. But what I figured out was, what do you do? In the limited space you have with the shield, see the steering linkage right there? I had that shield slid out all the way over here, and what I did is I slid the, I slid the mount out all the way over here when I was under the car, when I got it back into place. Slid it all the way out, set the shield back on top, and then slid both of them back together back in. Now, I wish you could just set the mount like in here and then slide it back into place, but it doesn't work like that. Not enough room, you know, the shapes and stuff. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. It didn't want to go back in like that because it would have made life really easy. But, of course, with these motor mounts, they're not. Sorry that um, the video quality is so bad it's on my phone. Also, I know people are going to complain that I didn't show them how to do it and all that stuff. But trust me, when you're underneath there with no jack, no jack stands, I'm 170 pounds, I slid under there, I slide under there, so there's not much room for a camera to fit, even my phone. So, yeah, good luck. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and I'll answer them as fast as possible. Thanks again. If you like this video, get a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.